Alright, what's going on everyone? I'm a member of the Blender community and today I'm going to show you how to make a vinyl record. Now this vinyl record, I've seen some tutorials on YouTube for it, but I had to think that there was an easier way. And turns out, yeah, there is an easier way. You just have to use a creative way of thinking. And in this video, I'm going to show you that. So in order to create your vinyl record, first hit Shift A, then create a circle. You can scale the circle up or down if you want. Doesn't really matter. Now, you go into edit mode, and you're in vertices mode already, so hit F to create a face, and hit I to scale all these vertices and make a duplicate of them. Now hit S, 0 to scale them down. Actually, should probably turn the screencast keys on. And after this, create a loop cut here. Move that loop cut up to 300, or about that, so it should look like this. It's kind of looking like a vinyl record already. Hit escape to stop sliding the loop cuts around. Now you're going to hold control and press 2. What that's going to do is it's automatically going to be adding a subsurf modifier to it. Now click a place modifier and click new over here. Now we're going to be using a displace modifier to make all the bumps on here. So obviously we have to find some type of displacement map or a bump map. Well, if we go to Google and we look up vinyl record bump map, the first one that pops up is the one that we're going to be using. This bump map looks pretty good and is going to look realistic when we render it out. Back to Blender. Let's go over here to our textures tab. Come down here, obviously there's nothing here. Hit open and go to wherever you saved your bump map. Right here is where I believe I saved mine. And yes it is. Now it's going to pop up like this and you're going to wonder what you did wrong. You did nothing wrong. Just go to the modifiers tab and turn the strength down to something like 0 .02. And after that, you should have some normal bumps that you can see. You can add a smooth shading onto that to make it look a little better. But you'll notice that all the bumps, they're pretty high, number one, which we're going to fix later. And number two, they aren't expanding all the way to the edge, and that's kind of weird. So how we fix that is we go into our compositing, we take the vinyl record, and then we unwrap it. What unwrapping it's going to do is it's going to put it over here, and when we change these textural coordinates to UV over here, that means we can change our bump and displacement map along with the picture we have over here. So, load in your displacement map, and if you zoom into the edges, you can see that the edge over here is completely different than the edge over here. That's why you're getting all the bumps in the center. So, if we scale this down to just about the edge of the image, we can see that the bumps stretch all the way to the end now. Now, these bumps still seem a little bit high, so what we can do is we can divide that by 2. And there we go, it's looking a little bit better. We can do that one more time. Since we have a subsurf modifier on, and we have so many vertices and loop cuts, we can do this. It'll still look fairly realistic. Now we can jump back into default. And we can grab these end vertices here, and extrude them down on the z-axis. And we can make a face on the bottom here. We don't need all those loop cuts on the bottom, but because we're in a subsurf modifier, we can hit I to smooth out everything down there. And it looks like we have a pretty good record going so far, but if we go into rendered mode, we can see that it just looks pretty normal, and there is no sort of, there's no color to it, there's no reflection to it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add some. Now, you don't have to do this, I'm just doing it so you guys can see it better because of the compression on YouTube. I'm just adding a light that we can see the reflection with. So I'm just adding an emission material right now. And let's put a camera in here. And if we go into rendered mode, we can see that the bumps are there. Now, let's go into compositing mode. Now we can select our object and add a new material to it just like that. Now this diffuse is going to pop up and keep it there. Hit Shift A and type in Mix. We're going to add a mix shader and we're going to add a glossy shader. Now if the little connections on your nodes are curved, I'm just using an add-on, but you guys don't need to worry about that because this node setup is pretty simple. Now we're going to turn this pretty dark and with the glossy we're going to turn it pretty dark too right to where it would be with the reflection right over here and if you would like to you can change the glossiness down or up depending on what you would like and these bumps are still really really high compared to an actual vinyl record so let's divide that by five 
And there we go, it's looking pretty good so far. Here's your pretty realistic vinyl record. We can turn down the outside world. We can turn up the emission a little. Hit render. And there you go, there's your realistic vinyl record for you. Now some things to correct, if you realize that it starts to fade out and it starts to appear a little less bumpy over here and it doesn't look as good, you can change your uh, denoiser. See my denoiser is uh, at zero tiles right now, that means it hasn't denoised anything. And as you can see there's a little bit of noise in here that it'll get to work on. But my thing is, that it seems like there's a lot of bumps here and no bumps over here. That's because the reflection of the light is being reflected off of these specific bumps here. So you can change the light around to change the reflection or you can simply go to your modifiers panel where your object is and you can bump up the displacement modifier but for now that was it for the video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and i'll see y'all later